Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on angles formed by chords. Okay, at the end of this, you should be able to say I can describe and use the relationships among the angles formed by intersecting chords to solve problems. So, first off, what the heck are we talking about here? When chords intersect, they form vertical angles. So, like these two angles are going to be the same. That's pretty straightforward. Now, they form vertical angles with the vertex that are inside the circle. Okay, and then to actually, there's a way to figure out what each of those angles are, and it is going to be half of A plus B. Okay, so one half of A plus B is going to equal what this is here. Okay, so because basically, if you think about it, there's a interior angle here, uh, an angle here. This angle is going to be this um, similar to angle B. Um, and it would be similar to A if it was on, if this intersection point was at the vertex, but it's not. But again, we can figure out what these angles are by finding the average of A and B. So one half of A plus B. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples and that should help us, uh, help us through this. So find the measure of the arc or angle indicated. Assume that lines which appear tangent are tangent. Okay, um, I don't think there's any tangent tangent lines in here anyway anywhere but anyway so these two angles here are going to be equal well, they're going to be vertical angles so they'll be the same and it's going to be the average of 170 plus 50 so question mark oops let's get a color you can see question mark is going to equal 170 because that's this arc here and 850 divided by 2 so question mark in this one is simply going to be 220 over 2, which equals 110 degrees. So both of these are 110 degrees. Okay, this one over here is 2. All right, this one here, find question mark. Question mark is going to equal the average of these two arcs here. So 73 plus 85 divided by 2. All right, so we add those together, and that's 158 over 2. So we take half of 158. Half of 150 is uh, 75, plus another 4 is 79 degrees. Okay. These, oh, this is 108. Now we got to figure out what this is. So we know that 50, let's do this. We know that 108, not 180, oh, struggling 108 is going to have to equal the average of these two arcs right so 56 plus question mark divided by 2 has to equal 108 right so i'm just going to do this put 108 over 1 and then we'll just do cross products and these have to equal each other right so 108 times 2 has to equal 56 plus our unknown our question mark so 108 times 2 is 216, 56 plus question mark. So subtract 56 from both sides, and we get that question mark is, let's see, that goes away. 5 away from 21 is 160 degrees is what that, what this arc right here is going to be, okay? Um, a lot of people will think, it's like, oh, wait, all i got to do is double this angle here to get to this arc here but again that only works if it's a angle that goes right through the middle right through the center of the circle okay and that one doesn't and then last one here we know that 80 has to equal the average of 95 in question mark oops let's do question mark divided by 2 so same thing cross products away we go so 80 times 2 has to equal 95 plus question mark so 80 times 2 is 160 All right and then we take 95 plus question mark subtract 95 from both sides and we get that question mark equals 65 degrees so this arc right here has to be 65 degrees okay all right that's actually, that's all there is for uh, angles formed by chords. So if you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.